All right, we will now start the Start Pro 2003 in our Windows PC. Okay, here's the first dialog box that will open or pop up when you first open Start Pro. So we have two tabs, the new file and the recent files. Then we have in the new file tab, you have the options here. You have another data input here and some options here. So first is the space option, which is the general option or the general choice of all the options okay so this is good when you design three-dimensional frames three-dimensional structures if you want to play you have if you want to des design a 2d structure then you can use plane if you want to design floor or slabs you can use the floor and of course if you want to design trusses You can also choose that option. In our case, we will be using the space option. So check that one. Then the file name, the file name of your choice, let's say tutorial 2015. Okay, then the location of the file that it will be saved is here. You choose another location, you click this button then let's say we will save it in h drive h then in this folder start tutorial 2015 folder okay click okay so our location of that file or the saved file will be saved at this location all right then we have the title which is optional so we'll leave it blank then the length units is important and the force units is also important. So the default length units in our Start Pro installation is meter. So we will not change the one. Force units is the default is kilonewton. So we will not change that one. That's already perfect. So next button. So where do you want to go from now? So what is your first step? Okay, so you have choices again. So, in our case, we'll uh, just leave it as it is, so add beam. Okay, so click finish button, then here you go, the complete GUI or GUI or the graphical user interface of Start Pro 2003. So, try to familiarize yourself first with the screen all right so after familiarizing yourself with the user interface of stat pro 23 we'll now discuss a little bit on those items okay so we have here the windows toolbar most of the commands are here Okay. Then we have, of course, the toolbars or the shortcut buttons are here. Then we have also a vertical toolbar here, some shortcut buttons again. Then we have the tabs, setup, geometry, general, analysis, print, design, and it's sub tabs or sub options here so currently geometry is selected and these are the sub options beam plate surface and solid okay then at the bigger part of the screen is of course our our model screen or the screen where we draw our structure if you'll notice we have here the orientation of the x y and z positive x y and z axis 
and we have here the grid grid lines okay then we have here some options these options are based on what you have chose on these tabs here so when I click setup there's a equivalent dialog box that will open on the right side okay when I click geometry it will also change to what you've chosen on these tabs okay so if you want to click geometry then plate then geometry plate dialog box will open here again another example if you want to click general then click specification or specs then general specifications of the structure will open at this side of the interface okay so basically that's it for the stat pro graphical user interface and we will now start our design proper all right so we'll now start with the designing proper okay first thing to follow is this tab here you need to perform the topmost tab first going downwards to geometry to general analysis print and design again each tab here has sub options okay setup you have only one option which is job so geometry we have four options which is beam plate surface and solid for general we have property spec support load and material for analysis print we have preprint analysis and post print for the design let's close this one design is we have steel design concrete design timber design aluminum design footing design and shear wall shear wall design again we'll go back to the setup tab this is where you set up your project so this is optional again so if you want to input the job name client name job number part number reference number your designing engineer in this case engineer x the checker the dates and so on you can input here this is optional so we'll just leave it blank except for this the engineer name and the date performed all right so after one go to geometry now we have here geometry options beam plate surface and solid okay so this is where you draw the model the 3d model or the 2d model or the truss model if you want and so on but i will not discuss it here because it is in my experience very tedious very difficult because you have to set up the spacing of the construction lines the number of construction lines you set up the what plane you will draw and so on so what I will be discussing is just the easy way to draw a frame inside a stud but actually we will not be drawing inside stud we will be drawing it on AutoCAD and just import it in stud so right now I will not be discussing how to draw the, the structure using these options here using these options here okay we will be using AutoCAD and I know you are already familiar in drawing models in AutoCAD okay so we will switch to AutoCAD first and draw our model there 